Hey guys! Hey guys! It is 3-1 Winter 3-1, aka Winter, aka Wolfie, whatever you guys want to call me today. Um, I've actually already made this video a couple of times, but something keeps happening with the... I don't know, the video for some reason, so I'm here doing another video. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit tired of watching this footage. But today we are continuing on the Create My Pet series. This is the second edition. Um, we are doing Becky, who is a cat that is five five years old, I think. And um, she was actually born in our house. There was this stray cat named that we named Vivi. She used to walk all around this neighborhood. Eventually, we like took her in. We kept feeding her, and eventually, she started coming in the house and trusting us. So she lived with us, and then she had three kittens. Uh, Vecchi, Blue Jay Jr., who we called Jonesy most of the time, and then Twilight, who we never really got to take care of. All of our cats were indoor-outdoor cats, and both the mom, Vivi, which is Vivi, and um, Twilight went missing after some time. So it's possible that they, you know, died, or maybe they just left. A lot of times mother mothers don't really stay with their kittens. They leave after their kittens are born. So I'm not surprised if she just left. So, yeah. And making Vecchi was very difficult. I'm actually surprised that I chose to do this series. I had given you guys a poll on my Instagram where it was like, create my dream builds, or it was create my pets in The Sims 4. You guys chose Create My Pets, and I'm surprised I even gave that as an option. I really did think it would win, because I know my pets are cute, but who really wants to watch Create Sim videos? But here we are doing them, and it's a lot of fun. I'm just not so good at Create a Sim, so if they're not looking that great, I apologize. We had done my dog, Echo, first, so if you guys want to check out that video, I will link it down in the description down below. Echo is a Siberian Husky. We've had her for... Three years? Yeah. So Vecchi is actually quite small, um, which is why you'll see that I change her to a kitten. Eventually I change her back to an adult just because in reality she is an adult, and then she also has a collar that I wanted to put on her. But Vecchi is about five pounds. She's pretty long, but she's pretty short. And I couldn't make this cat any shorter than it already was. But... Yeah, and she's not she's not five pounds because she's underweight or anything. Before I get rammed in the comment, com oh gosh, before I get rammed in the comment section for being a cat abuser, she's just um that's one the way she's built and two because she's an outdoor cat she's very lean and muscular. So vet has told us that her weight is fine. She's just a muscly little tiny cat. Nothing to be concerned about. In fact, this whole family was very small. Jonesy was really the only cat that was quite large. But I think that's because he was very muscular as a cat. He didn't have a whole lot of fat on him. Just a lot, a lot of muscle because he was also an outdoor cat. And he actually stayed the most feral out of all of our cats. He would go away for months at a time and then come back. You know? Like, he'll leave for a month, he'll come back for a month, he'll leave for a month. I'm not even sure. I think he might have had a second home with how much he leaves. Which would be interesting because he has a collar on and he's microchipped. So is Vecchi. But who knows? Vecchi, on the other hand, she comes back as soon as you call her. I don't know how she can hear me, but if I call outside that door, she'll come back 10 minutes later. And she usually comes back before it gets dark, so that's good because we live in a neighborhood where there's a bunch of coyotes. So, yeah. Um, you guys had asked a lot of questions about my pets, and I had answered some of them on my Instagram, but I figured I'd answer them all right now. Currently, I have Vecchi and another cat named Bandit, and then I have my dog named Echo. And then I have a family horse. Um, recently, my two other animals passed away. I had a chihuahua named Simon. He was a chihuahua mix. And we had Jonesy, and he had passed away. And they both passed away, like, within three days of each other. It was funny because, I mean, it's not funny, but my mom had said, you know, what is what is Jonesy going to do without Simon now that he's passed away? And then 
three days later, he passed away. I don't know. Maybe Jonesy can live without Simon. But, oh well. It was really tough because Simon was a dog that I've had since I was about seven. Maybe. Maybe a little bit less than seven. Maybe I was six. We've had him for a long time. He was originally a foster dog. And we had kept him for so long that we just adopted him at the end for free. They didn't make us pay or anything. We just kept him. Um, so he's pretty much been my entire life that I, I remember. He's in my first memories. So it was really hard watching him pass away. He was like 13 when he died. And I'm 18, so I mean, it's really not that big of a difference. Maybe he was 14. Because we got him when he was a few months old. I don't know. And then Jonesy was five, as is Becky right now. She was five as well. You'll see that I'm kind of starting over because I couldn't figure out what to do. I just, it really bothered me that I couldn't get her exact. But I think I come pretty close to it towards the end. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I would love to see you guys make my pets in The Sims 4. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys are more talented than me when it comes to creative sims. So if you guys ever make my pets, you guys should tag me in the photos so I can check them out. It would be super cool. Or even leave your gallery, you know, your origin ID down below and share it onto the gallery so that I can see it. Maybe I'll make a video reacting to them if you guys ever do make them because that would be super cool. I would love to see, you know, you guys bring my, my pets into the Sims 4. Especially since it'll be better than mine. And just so you guys know, shameless plug here, my Instagram is 31windrel31. You guys should definitely check it out because I post a lot, a lot of stuff about my builds. You guys have my video schedule on there. And then on top of that, you guys vote on a lot of my builds. Like, pretty much every video that I've done with this series has been voted on. I asked you guys which pet you want to do first. I asked you guys if you wanted to do this series in the first place. I said it was this or, you know, the dream builds. So, this is what you guys voted on. And then all of my build videos are also a lot of times videos that I voted on. I ask you guys where I should make them, whether they should be a tiny house or a starter home. And we are at the end of the video. Changing some things. I'm sorry. I forgot what I was just saying. Um. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you like me, hit that subscribe button. And you guys will see me tomorrow because I am starting my Quick Tip Tuesdays tomorrow. And I'm also having, let's see, I also have a collab that I'm posting on Wednesday that I did with an Instagrammer. So that is very exciting. They gave me a family and I'm making a house for them based off of the storyline that they gave. So you guys should definitely check that out. And you should check out their Instagram when I post the video because they're really great Instagram and they do a lot of custom content. I don't do as much custom content simply because one, I mostly do build videos and downloading a bunch of CC content from build videos is a lot. But I am doing a custom content build. I'm currently in the process of downloading some. So you guys should stay tuned for that as well if you guys love custom content. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and I will. See you next time. Thank you for watching.